All right. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. God bless you all. And thank you for joining me at 6 p.m. Here we are at the end of day two. Glory to God. All right. Good evening, everyone. Go ahead and type in good evening as you get on. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to try to hit y'all names up as y'all jump on. Vicky, Andrea, Demetra, Yvonne, Kina, Velkita. All right. Tatiana, Rose, Lalita, Willie, Belinda, Shay, Samira. All right. Good evening, Angela, Chanel. Who else we got? Principal K, Eureka, Jerry, Alicia, Katina, Anita. All right. June, Travis, Carl. All right. Glory to God. Who else we got? Lori, Rhonda. All right. God bless you. Okay. Who else we got going on here? Patricia, Sharon, Cherie, Wanda, Jennifer, Mitchell, Erica. Good evening. Kareem, Shamika. Good evening. All right. Kelly, Jermaine, April. Good evening. Julia. Good evening. God bless you. Good evening. Donna, Monica. Good evening. Pat, good evening. Vivian, good evening. Renee, good evening. The best photographer in the world. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. God bless you all. It is awesome to be here. Tyrone, good evening. God bless you. Demarcus, good evening. Good to see you all. All right. Well, listen. Woo. Day two, y'all. Y'all all right? All right, holler at me if y'all good. Y'all all right? I got my smoothie here. I got my evening smoothie. All right. Y'all good? Day two. You didn't think you could do it, but look at you. You all right. <clears throat> you all right. How many of y'all have found uh, different, uh, different ways to make <laughs> drinks and juices and all kind of stuff. I mean, I, I I got this vitamin X blender. I'm throwing everything in there, and I mean, I, it's it's all right. It's all right. Okay, we good, y'all. Lord have mercy. They, I listen. I'm so glad I'm associated with y'all. I got some strong folks with me. Glory to God. Strong folks. We doing good. We doing good. Praise God. Praise God. All right. What y'all been doing? Vegetable juices, smoothie juices, fruit juices. I hope you're drinking a lot of water. You got to drink a lot of water to keep yourself hydrated. So make sure with all the juicing that you're doing, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. OK. All right. Make sure you're drinking a lot of get those bottled waters and just put them in your car and put them at your job and just put them around you and just keep keep gulping them down. All right. Praise God. Awesome. God bless you all. Amen. Well, listen, uh, this is what our sixth devotional. We're on our sixth devotional and our fast devotional number six. If you have not downloaded your sixth devotional uh, number six, please uh, go to the church website and download it. T-O-P-C-I dot org. You want to download it so you can stay on top of it. We got after today, we got one more day to go. Now, it's going to go so fast. To me, I don't know about you all, even though my, my body had to shift a little bit, but to me, this is going by pretty fast. Anybody feeling me? I think us doing our devotionals, us staying together three times a day, all right? I know you probably had to push through some stuff throughout the day, but uh, it's moving pretty fast, okay? Three days. It, we're getting through it. All right. And but what you don't understand is that in the spirit realm, Lord, have mercy. Woo! the muscles are getting strong. Glory to God. That power is increasing in you. Who, who in here was on the on the uh, midday push, the 12 p.m. devotional? What did we talk about? God is going to do what? Supersize you. Amen. Come on. He's going to make you bigger. He's going to enlarge your territory. He's going to enlarge your capacity. 
to receive and to and to obtain blessings from your capacity to to do all the things that God has called you to do. Right. Did y'all leave out of that midday push feeling like you got that push you needed? OK, so with that being said, we got to now settle down tonight. We're going to get our devotional in here tonight. And then I want you to go ahead and uh, do your drinks tonight and go ahead and get your smoothie in, get something, get some nutrients, some vegetables going in your stomach and in your belly. All right. Turn on some worship music and spend time with the Holy Spirit. All right. Spend time with your family and get you some good sleep. All right. That's what we're going to do tonight. Praise God. OK. We're on devotional number six. Devotional number six talks about the rain is coming. The rain is coming. Now, I'm going to let you read your devotional so you can understand what God is saying in that devotional. But what I want to do is I want to pick it up now in Joel chapter two. And I want you I want to give you the background of this whole story about the children of Israel. All right. What's happening is that they're in in captivity. Nothing is growing. Nothing is producing. And they need some rain. They need the rain to come so that their crops and everything can start growing again. All right. But the Bible suggests in Joel chapter two that God shut up the heavens because of what they were doing, that God shut up the heavens because they were not honoring him and they were not worshiping him. And they had turned to other idols and they started uh, listening to their own hype and their own noise and thought that they could do this without God. And what did God do? God said, OK, you're going to do this without me. I'll shut up the heavens. But guess what? God has a way of getting your attention. Am I right about it? How many of you all? God had to get your attention in one way or another. And so what did he do? Shut up the heavens. And now they got to call on the Lord so that the rain could come. Let's pick it up. Joel chapter two, verse 12. He says, therefore, also now saith the Lord, turn ye even unto me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord, your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord, your God. Verse 15, blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, and call a solemn assembly. That's what we're doing right now. We're calling the church together. We're saying this is a time for us to pray and fast and seek the face of the Lord because there's something supernatural that God wants to do. The Bible says, who knows? He might leave a blessing behind. I'm declaring that it's not a might blessing. I'm declaring that he will leave a blessing behind. I'm telling you that there is a blessing with your name on it because we are coming together to fast and pray. Look what the Bible says in verse 23. He says, be glad you children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain all in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat and the vat shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you. Oh, here's the good news. The years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that have dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I, I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. So I want you to see that, that God says, I'm sending now the rain because you chose to sanctify a fast, because you chose to pray and to seek my face. God says, I'm going to send the rain. What does the rain represent? The rain represents blessings. The rain represents favor. Also, the rain represents an answer to their prayers. That's what they were praying for. And God says, listen, because I held back the rain so long, I'm going to give it all to you in one month. Lord have mercy. He said the rain that was supposed to come last season, the rain that is due for this season, and the rain that is set up to come in the future. He said, I'm going to make it all come in one month. I want to declare over your life today that as we are in this month of April, and this is the new season, we're in spring, and God is doing some spring cleaning on the inside of us. 
I'm declaring that the rain is coming. Come on, the blessings that were supposed to come earlier, the blessings that were lined up in the future, the blessings that are due now, let's declare a decree that they are coming now in Jesus' name. Somebody declare a decree, the rain is coming. Come on, can you say that with me? The rain is coming. The rain represents his hand, his favor, his blessings. The rain is coming, praise God. And what was it that executed, that activated the rain? It was their fasting. It was their fasting. Their praying and their fasting turned the faucet of heaven on. I'm declaring over your life, hallelujah, that the rain is coming from heaven. Because you chose to pray and fast, I, I, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I feel like this this type of this time of prayer fasting has been a little challenging for you. And the reason why it's been a little challenging is because the enemy has done everything he can to make sure that what has been withheld from you does not get released to you. All I'm telling you right now is that there's something happening in the heavens for you and your family. Get ready to see the blessings of the Lord pour down on you like rain. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to read something out of this book, Jensen Franklin's fasting book. Look what he says. He says, whenever you begin a fast, remember, if it doesn't mean anything to you, it won't mean anything to God. Oh, y'all didn't hear me. He said, if the fast that you're doing doesn't mean anything to you, it won't mean anything to God. You know what he's suggesting here? He says, listen, don't play around with this fast. Come on. Everybody knows that when you fast for three days and no solid food, you know this means something to you. Daniel fast, you make it get through it. Come on. But a fast of no food, that means you are making a decision to say, God, I want to see something different in my life. Hallelujah. And if it doesn't mean anything to you, it won't mean anything to God. So here's what I want you to do. Let's make this fast count. Let's make this fast count. Here's some things that I want you to consider. Number one, make sure that you stay in constant communication with God. Make sure that you're praying throughout the day. Make sure that while you're walking down your hall, you're saying, Lord, Lord, I love you. I praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While you're at work, just God, I give you praise. Thank you, Lord. While you're driving, praise God. Lord, I just thank you. I praise you. When you're at home, turn on the music, turn on the preaching, turn on the word, turn on something to keep you in the spirit. Make this fast count. All right. Don't sit around and just roll your thumbs and say, oh, I can't wait 24 more hours and I'm going to be able to put something in my stomach. You don't even understand. You put something in your stomach right now. Come on. And that is the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So watch this now. Let's stay in continual prayer before God. I want you to always make sure that you're finding some type of scripture or devotional to read every day. So that's why we're giving you this devotional so you can read other scriptures and keep the word going. Sometimes, listen, I like to hear the word. And so on my on my phone, I turn the sound on on my Bible version and it reads the word to me while I'm driving or it reads the word to me while I'm at the house. I just let them let it play. And, and the voice just reads the word and I'm just receiving the word of God. Praise God. What you don't understand is that your spirit man is eating because he's eating the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Fasting is like spring cleaning for your body. Just like we are in the new season right now, the fast is cleaning up some things. And can I help you with something? The fast is also doing some work in your physical body. Come on, it's doing some work in your digestive system. Every now and then, you need to detox. You need to take a break. You need to let your body rest from all the digestion it's been doing. And here's what God is saying. He's saying, I am resetting your diet. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's a few people, you know, you need to reset your diet. Because the food that you've been eating, come on, has not been healthy for you. There's some of us that need to lose weight. There's some of us that the doctor told us we need to switch our diet. And all I'm telling you is that God is not only giving you a jump start in the spirit, but he's giving you a jump start in the physical realm as well. You know why? Because faith without works is dead. And as you confess your healing, you got to work on this thing too. Praise God. I'm declaring that healing is being released for you. And I'm declaring that you are now getting a new diet. Now you're seeing a new way of eating, a new way of digesting things, a new way of shopping, a new way of making sure that your diet keeps your body moving in the right direction. 
Amen. Praise God. I hope you receive that because I believe that something great is about to happen for you in Jesus name. OK, let me give you one more thing that he says in here. He says this powerful. He says, I am convinced that we will never walk in the perfect will of God until we seek him through fasting. When you present your body in this manner, you open yourself up to hear from God. You will prove or discover his good and perfect will for your life. During this time of fasting, God is making you more sensitive. Hallelujah. Glory to God. More sensitive to his word, more sensitive to his voice, more sensitive to his will for your life. Praise God. And so I want you to understand you're getting stronger. You may not understand it, but you will down the road because your spirit man is being renewed and being strengthened in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life that as you present your body as a living sacrifice, that God is about to reward you openly for your sacrifice, for what you're doing in this season. I'm telling you that the rain is coming. And what he says in the scripture is very powerful. In Joel chapter two, before we pray, he says something twice at the end of this passage of scripture. He says, my people will never be ashamed. Why is this important? Because back then, when people did not see crops growing or when they didn't see your country uh, uh, producing anything, they considered it that your God was cursing you. Of course, they have many gods. And so all these other nations had their own gods that they worship. And so when they're looking at the children of Israel and they're saying they say they serve the only true God, but their God can't give them rain to grow their crops. They're cursed. Here's what God says. He says, I'm going to bless you to the point that everybody that looked around and were scratching their head said something is wrong with them, that they should be going through that. Something They must have did something. I'm here. The Lord saying I'm removing the shame. I'm removing the shame. Matter of fact, the Bible declares this in Isaiah 61 for those that have ever had to deal with anything. He says in Isaiah 61 verse seven, he says, for your shame, you will have double. That means double blessings. Come on, double favor in Jesus name. Somebody just declared the creed double, double for your shame. That means God is going to reward you. Come on. And he's going to cause everybody to look at you in favor, in blessing. In Malachi, he says, you will be called a delightsome land. So God is removing the shame and he's replacing it with the rain. He's removing the shame and he's replacing it with the rain. Matter of fact, the rain is washing away the shame. Praise God. Now, some of you all, that may not be mean nothing to you, but there's some of us that have made some mistakes and the shame of that is still on us. There's some of us that had to go through some things as a child and the shame of that is still on us. There's some of us that we weren't, we didn't have good luck in, in choosing the right spouse and the right person in our life. And that shame is on you. Sometimes you made the wrong decision with your money. Sometimes you may have made the wrong decision with friends. And that shame is on you. You went to make a, an investment and that investment did not come through. And that shame is on you. I hear the Lord say, I'm removing the shame. And I'm causing the rain to come in your life. Praise God. No more shame. Hallelujah. No more guilt. No more condemnation. No matter what has happened in your past, I hear the Lord saying, I'm removing the shame. No shame. No shame. So now you can walk back in, in, into that room with your family with your shoulders high. Come on. Now you can walk back into that situation where you experience shame. Come on, with your head up. Why? Because God has removed the shame and for your shame, you will have double. Come on, double favor, double blessings. Come on, double power. Come on. You walked in single, but now you're walking out double. I told y'all this is a time of increase. This is a time of super side. This is a time of favor. This is a time of God enlarging you for your shame. You will have double. I speak double. I speak your income is about to double. Woo. Lord, have mercy. I don't know where that came from. Thank you, Lord. I know where it came from. The whole I said, your income is about to double. Hallelujah. Praise God. Your portfolio is about to double. Glory be to God. Come on. The favor on your life is about to double. Why y'all don't receive this? Did you all know that when that rain came, that meant that God had turned their economy around? Do you all see that? 
that it wasn't just a spiritual thing, but God turned the whole economy around. Come on. They were going down and going bankrupt, but now the rain is coming. And he says, for your shame, you will have, to, God says, I'm about to increase those crops. Come on. That rain is going to be coming in so fast. Amos 9 and 13 says, you won't even have room. You don't even know how to deal with it. Come on. Things are going to be happening so fast. And I declare that over your life. This is a prophetic word for somebody. Come on. For your shame, you will have double. Hallelujah. I, I declare that God is increasing the love in the marriage, that God is increasing the relationship with the children, that God, come on, is about to do something double in your spirit. Praise God. Lord, have mercy. I've been praying this week. Say, Lord, I want more revelation of your word. I want a deeper understanding of your word. I thank you for the revelation that you give me to share with the people of God. But Lord, take me deeper. God, I want to I want to I want to see the hidden parts of your word. I want to hear. I want to see the hidden secrets of your word. I want to pull out revelation that I haven't even seen before. God, take me deeper. Lord God. So, Lord God, double it, double it, make it more. Come on in Jesus name. Glory be to God. And all I'm telling you is that God is doing that for you today. God is doing that for you today. Hallelujah. The reason why you are refraining from food is because God is about to give you double. I receive it. In the name, I couldn't get double while I was eating, but I'm about to get double now because I'm fasting. Hallelujah. You know why? Because prayer and fasting unlocks whatever has been held up from you. The rain didn't come until fasting took place. And all I'm telling you is that the rain is coming in the name of Jesus. God, I give you praise and I thank you for it right now. There is an outpour of the Holy Ghost that is coming on you and your family in Jesus' name. The Bible says that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And in Jesus name, because you've been praying and fasting, the same outpour that happened in Joel chapter two, the same outpour that happened in Acts chapter two, we declare a decree that the outpour is happening for you and your family in Jesus name. God is outpouring his spirit upon you, your family and everybody connected to you in Jesus name. There will be an outpour of his spirit on people in your family that have not been saved, that have not been filled with his spirit. There will be an outpour, hallelujah, on people that have been battling alcohol, on people that have been battling drugs, on people that have been battling depression. In the name of Jesus, I hear the Lord say, get ready for the outpour of my spirit. I want somebody just to declare a decree outpour. Come on outpour on my husband, outpour on my wife, outpour on my children, outpour of your spirit on my grandchildren, and outpour. Oh, glory to God, an outpour of his spirit. Come on, in the name of Jesus, there's an outpour that's happening for you now, even as we are talking. God is filling your spirit up. Come on, God is filling your heart up. He's filling your soul up. In Jesus' name, we speak it and we declare it right now in Jesus' name. Come on, you need to lift your hands and begin to worship God and thank God for the outpour of his spirit. Come on, he's, uh, he's pouring out on you. He's, uh, woo, he's pouring it out on you now. He's pouring it out on you now. I want you just to take a minute and just to worship him and thank him for the outpour. Come on. Thank you for the outpour, Lord. Thank you for the outpour in the name of Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My stomach may be rumbling right now, but thank you for the outpour. Come on. I may be having some headaches right now, but thank you for the outpour. Come on. This flesh is, is, is battling in my body, but I received the outpour of your spirit. In the name of Jesus, I hear the Lord said, I'm about to fill your whole family with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm going to fill your whole family with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Get ready for an outpour of your spirit. Get ready for an outpour of his spirit in Jesus' name. God says, I'm going to pour it out till they'll never want to smoke weed again. I'm going to pour it out till they never want to pick up that alcohol again. I'm going to pour it out till the God, God says, I'll remove the cussing out of their mouth. I'll pour it out. Come on, until their whole body lines up with the word of God. I'm going to pour it out. Come on, in Jesus' name, till they get rid of those sexual, lustful desires. I'm going to pour it out in Jesus' name until they lift their hands and submit to the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pour it out until they say yes to you, Lord. 
God says, I'm going to pour it out. I'm pouring it out in the name of Jesus. God, I give you praise that there's an outpour of your spirit that's getting ready to happen for my brother and sister. In the name of Jesus, pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I feel like even now, hallelujah, some of y'all are going to be speaking in new tongues. Come on, some of y'all are going to be speaking in your heavenly language. Come on, you're going to pick up your prayer language in Jesus' name. Come on, you need to lift your hands and say, Lord, I want you to pour it out. Hallelujah. I see some of y'all right now, even as I'm praying, you're walking around your house and say, Lord, pour it out on me, Jesus. Pour it out on me, Lord God. I want more than a Sunday morning experience. Hallelujah. I want more, hallelujah, than just a 90 minute service. I need an outpour. I need an outpour of your spirit, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord God. Father, fill me with your love. Fill me with your glory. Fill me with your power. Fill me with your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you're pouring out your spirit on every home and every family in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God, that the enemy is defeated. We give you praise that you are exalted. In the name of Jesus, we bind Satan on every hand in Jesus' name. We declare and decree that Satan is a defeated foe. In the name of Jesus, we declare and decree that we have victory today. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over every household now. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus. Come on, over every marriage, over every child, we plead the blood of Jesus. We command every demon to go back to its place of origin. We resist you, devil. We resist your demonic plans. We resist you. We command you to flee from us. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. God, we receive your blessings. God, we receive your power. God, we receive your spirit. In the name of Jesus, God, we give you praise that we're moving forward, that we will not allow anything to hinder us. Nothing will stop us. Nothing will hinder us. Nothing will shake us. Nothing will move us. In the name of Jesus, God, we give you praise and we thank you. We thank you for the rain, Lord God. We thank you for the promise of your blessings and favor upon each and every individual in the name of Jesus. We thank you for blessings that are rolling down the mountains, pouring down to every family in Jesus' name. I thank you that we're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come. We're blessed when we go. We're blessed going in. We're blessed coming out in the name of Jesus. Release your favor, Lord God. Release your blessings now in the name of Jesus. Say that the blood of Jesus is against you. In the name of Jesus, we bind all hindering spirits. We bind all evil spirits. We bind any spirit that is sent to derail us, sent to keep us from walking in our destiny. And in the name of Jesus, we receive your glory. We receive your power. We receive your spirit. In the name of Jesus, any evil spirit that has been sent to harass us, to intimidate us, to block us, to derail us, we send it back to the pits of hell. In the name of Jesus, we cast down every addiction. We cast down every stronghold. We cast down every imagination. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you that we're encouraged. I thank you that we're strengthened. I thank you that we're motivated. I thank you that we're filled with your spirit. In the name of Jesus. So God calls this body to come into alignment with your word today. In the name of Jesus, we bind all hunger pains. We bind all headaches in Jesus name. We declare the decree that we are healed, that we are whole in Jesus name. We thank you that you've given us power, love, and of a sound mind. And in Jesus name, we thank you. We praise you. We will not get weary in our well-doing. So we bind weariness in Jesus name. We bind fatigue in Jesus name. Come on. In the name of Jesus, we bind laziness. In Jesus name, we bind slumber. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you that we have the joy of the Lord. We thank you that we have the peace of the Lord. We thank you that we have the strength of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that everything in our body is lining up with the word of God. We give you praise and we thank you right now. We have more energy than 
than we ever have before because we're walking by faith and not by sight in the name of Jesus. We declare decree that the joy of the Lord it is our strength in Jesus name, Lord God. We give you praise and we thank you for new strength. We have strength to resist the devil. We have strength to resist food. We have strength in Jesus name to resist the desires of our flesh. Flesh, sit down. Spirit, stand up. Flesh, sit down. Spirit, stand up. Flesh, sit down. Spirit, stand up in the name of Jesus. I hear the Holy Ghost saying, I'm standing up in you, my brother. I'm standing up in you, my sister, because you prayed and fast. You made room for me to stand in the midst of you. In Jesus' name, God, I give you praise that every devil is under my feet. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise, Lord God, as we drink our water, as we drink our juice, come on, as we drink our smoothie, as we replenish our body with vegetables and fruits and nutrients. Uh, God, I give the praise that our body is being revived. Uh, our body is being restored. Uh, our body is being renewed. Uh, we thank you, Lord God, that our spirit is being revived. Uh, our spirit is being restored. Uh, our spirit is being renewed. Uh, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you uh, that we're renewing. Uh, you're renewing our mind. Uh, you're renewing our spirit. Uh, in Jesus' name, I thank you that we walk in the spirit uh, and we will not fulfill the lust of our flesh. We think that we are locked into the spirit. Come on, somebody just declare a decree that. Say, I'm locked in. Come on, I'm locked into your promises. I'm locked into your will. Hallelujah. I'm locked into your word. I'm locked into the destiny that you have for me. I'm locked into the assignment that you have on my life. I'm locked in, in Jesus' name. I will not quit. I will not give up. I will not quit. I will not give up. I'm locked in. I'm going to stand on your word. I'm going to stand on your promises. In the name of Jesus, tonight is the night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you all, the enemy thought he was going to get you tonight, but he is a liar. In Jesus' name, God, we give you praise. We thank you for the Holy Ghost tonight. We thank you for the Spirit tonight. In the name of Jesus, God, I give you praise, Lord God. Even tonight. Uh, I declare a decree that God is covering you in the nighttime. I say God is covering you in the nighttime. In the name of Jesus, I hear the Lord say, reclaim your night. Hallelujah. Some of y'all have been, come on, not sleeping at night. Come on, you've been going back and forth at night. Come on, the enemy got all kind of thoughts going in your, in your mind. He got your spirit, come on, all confused. He got your body all restless. But in Jesus' name, we reclaim the night. Come on, in the name of Jesus, God, I give you praise that tonight will be sweet rest. Come on, huh? Somebody declare that in the name of Jesus. I said sweet rest. Uh, tonight is sweet rest because you're going to be resting huh, in the promises of God. Come on. Huh? I declare a decree in Jesus name huh, that nothing will disturb you tonight. Huh? Come on. Nothing will get in your mind tonight. Huh? Nothing will bother your spirit tonight. Come on. Huh? In the name of Jesus, we bind all spirits of, of witchcraft. Huh? Anything that will try to come in the nighttime. Huh? In Jesus name, we declare a decree that your dreams are gone guarded by the peace of God, that nothing will disturb your dreams, nothing will disturb your sleep. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, we declare and decree that as we worship you tonight, that you're filling us up with your peace, that you're filling us up with your joy. In the name of Jesus, God, I give your praise and I thank you, Lord God, that praise and worship, Lord God, will consume our hearts, will consume our minds, will consume our spirits tonight. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that the light of your word will consume us tonight, huh? that the power of your spirit will consume us tonight, huh? that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will consume us tonight. In Jesus' name, huh? we give your praise. We thank you, Lord God, huh? that tonight is a night of peace, huh? that tonight is a night of joy, that tonight is a night of renewed strength. Huh? In the name of Jesus, God, I give your praise. Huh? I thank you for peace in the house. I thank you for joy in the house. I thank you for the glory of God in the house, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever is not right in the house, God, we declare and decree that it is being removed now in the name of Jesus. I told you all this morning that if something is in your house that did not get your permission 
Go open up the front door and command it to leave in Jesus' name. You need to open up the door and command sickness to leave. I did not give you permission to come into this house. Sickness, leave this house. Come on. Poverty, leave. I did not command you to come into this house. In this house, we are blessed and prosperous and every need is met and every bill is paid. I did not give you permission. Get on out of here. In the name of Jesus, come on. Whatever is in your house that you did not give permission to, come on at the end of this prayer, go to the front door and tell it to get out of here. In Jesus' name, God, we give you praise that our house is covered by the blood of Jesus. God, I thank you that angels are assigned at every doorway of this house. And I thank you, Lord God, that you said that you would give your angels charge over us. And so we give you praise, Lord God, that our house is covered. Come on. Somebody declare a decree that my home is covered. Your family is covered. Everything that you have is covered by the blood. In the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we give you praise that as we go into the rest of this evening, we thank you, Lord God, for sweet rest. We thank you for peace in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that Satan is defeated and you get all the glory. You get all the praise. You get all the honor in the name of Jesus. Come on, y'all. Let's just take 60 seconds and let's just clap our hands and glorify the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Lift up your voice. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. During this time of prayer and fasting, he's renewing your strength. He's renewing your spirit. You got to give him praise. You got to give him praise. Come on. You got to give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on. 30 more seconds, church. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Come on. Don't watch me, y'all. Come on. Participate. Clap your hands. Lift up your voice and begin to praise God. Come on. Things are turning for you right now. He's renewing your spirit. He's renewing your strength. In the name of Jesus, thank you for healing my body. Thank you for restoring my mind. Thank you for restoring my soul. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Give him praise. Hallelujah. I will bless you at all times. Your praise shall continue to be in my mouth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The rain is coming. The rain is coming. Hallelujah. Blessings and favor are coming to your house. The rain is coming in Jesus name. The outpour of his spirit is coming in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the outpour. Thank you for the rain. I give you praise. I'm refraining from food because I want an outpour. I'm refraining from food, Lord, because I want to see your rain. I'm refraining from food, Lord, because I want to see my body healed. I'm refraining from food, Lord, because I want to hear you more clearly. I'm refraining from food, Lord, because I want to break this stronghold off of my life. I'm refraining from food, Lord, because I want to destroy this addiction off of me. Hallelujah. I'm refraining from food, Lord, because I want more of your presence. I want more of your power. I want more of your spirit in my life. I'm refraining from food because I need to be more sensitive to your voice. So God, speak to my heart. Hallelujah. Speak to me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm refraining from food because I want to see in the spirit. I want to see in the spirit in the name of Jesus. I'm refraining from food because I want more of your glory in my life in the name of Jesus. And if I want to see something different, I got to do something different. So, Lord God, I'm doing something different because I want to see your glory. I want to see your power. I want to see you, Lord God. I want to see you like I've never seen you before. I want to experience you like I've never experienced you before. I want more of you, Lord. I want more of you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Show me your glory, Lord. Show me your glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I surrender myself to you. I yield myself to you, God. I present my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, Lord. Have your way in my life. Have your way in my life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I put away the food because I want more of your glory. I want more of your spirit. I need more of you, Lord, 
in the name of Jesus. And you said, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Fill me, Lord. Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your glory. Fill me with your power. Ha! In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Master. Oh, Savior. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Woo! My soul says, yes, yeah, Lord. My heart says, yes, Lord. My mind says, yes, Lord. Everything in me says, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 He's feeling you right now. He's feeling you right now. He's feeling you right now. Oh, come on and lift your hands and praise him. He's feeling you right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we give you praise. Oh, God, we give you glory. Oh, God, we give you honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we love you and we praise you. We magnify your name. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We praise you. We love you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We magnify your name in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, just lift your hands and worship him one more time. Lift your hands and praise him one more time. He's in the room. He's here to feel you. He's here to strengthen you. He's here to give you exactly what you need. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the rain, Lord. Thank you for the rain, Lord. Thank you for the rain, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we just give you praise. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. God, thank you, Lord God, for visiting us tonight. Thank you for giving us exactly what we need tonight. In the name of Jesus. So, God, continue to fill us with your spirit. Continue to fill us with your glory. Continue to fill us with your power. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Saints, I just feel an outpour of God's spirit. Hallelujah. Happening for you and happening for your family. I feel blessings that are getting ready to come on you like never before because the rain is coming. Prayer and fasting ignites the rain. Prayer and fasting ignites the outpour. Prayer and fasting ignites the glory of God. Come on, receive it now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, we thank you. We praise you. For this time of prayer and fasting, we thank you. And on tonight, we're going to get the sweet rest that we need. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you're allowing us to stay before you. No food, only liquids. Because if we want to see something different, we're going to have to do something different. And we thank you for this moment, this time, this opportunity. In the name of Jesus, we count it already done. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 If you receive this word, amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You just type in the word amen as we seal this time of prayer before the Lord by declaring decreeing amen. Everything that we said in this prayer, amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you all for joining me tonight in prayer. God is good. Y'all feel all right? I feel all right. Amen. There's some worship songs I want to play, but because we're on these other platforms, I don't want this prayer to be taken down. But when you get off here, just put on some worship music and just praise God and just thank him for who he is. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you all again. You have sweet rest tonight. And I will see you back here on the last day of our fast, 
6 a.m. Y'all set your timers. Wake up with me. And then tomorrow night, we will have our first night of the revival. Pastor YPJ is coming with a prophetic word for us. So don't miss tomorrow night. We're going to end our fast together at Tabernacle of Praise at the McDonough campus. If you can't be there in person, log in online. You don't want to miss what God is going to say to us at the conclusion of our time of prayer and fasting. Amen. God bless you all. I love you all. Y'all have a blessed evening. Let's keep walking by faith. God bless you. Amen.